Welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is It is time. The remnant army is called. Brothers and sisters, as it was in the times of old, so will it be again. There is nothing new under the sun. And when we see the pattern of the Gideon's army who were called, Many people, I think there were over 30,000 in the beginning, but the Lord reduced them just to 300 to stand against 135,000 enemy soldiers. Why did he do that? Because the victory must be in the glory of the Lord, for the glory of the kingdom, and not because you had so many warriors that it was easy to overcome the enemy but it must have been impossible. And so our mission in New Zion, going into the dark valleys and into the shadow of death for in, in, in New Egypt to, to set the captives free, is always a mission impossible. The same as Moses' mission was a mission impossible. One person standing against whole Egypt, but he took the people out for the glory of the kingdom of God. And you are called now for such a time as this to be part of the remnant army of New Zion. Volunteer. Be part of it. Stand with us together in the upper room. Wait for the outpouring. Wait for the opening of the portal. Wait for your blessings and your gifts, your mantles to come. The transformation of the Lord as it was shown everywhere, even from the enemy side, that this was going to happen. And the time is now. The Lord is standing at your door with a hand on the doorknob. He will only open it when you allow him, when you volunteer, when you say, Yes, Lord, come in. I'm watching for your return. I love you. You are my bridegroom and you are also my Lord and Savior. And you are the only rightful heir to the throne of the kingdom of God. And so you, the millennium kingdom and the new covenant will come to pass a new reign in complete balance of the heavens. As we have received your revelations of the new covenant, the two witnesses and everything, what we have brought in other videos before this. Now you are called into the remnant army. You are called to be one of the 300 warriors. You were separated. You were at the gathering. You had gotten the token, the white token in your hand, that token that will allow you access to your transport, to go into New Zion, to be part of the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Still separated from New Egypt with a great divide. But you will be able to cross that divide on the order of the Lord and to seek the lost sheep in New Egypt and to set them free and to take them out and to return them to New Zion and from there to the holy mountain, to Mount Zion, where the rapture of the church, will, Acts 2.0, will take place at the sixth sea. Are you a warrior? Are you ready in your full armor, standing right now, ready? Are you ready with your flaming sword? Are you ready with, uh, with your lamps that are full of oil, full of faith? Are you having childlike faith and believe what the Father is commanding you to stand together as one. 300 warriors that are building a, a wall that the enemy cannot break. He will not go past you, he can't. But you will send out troops into his territory to set the captives free, Isaiah 61. You are called to fulfill a mission of the Lord. You will be sent as his images here on earth. At least 300 people walking in the light of, of Christ Jesus. The world could not even handle one, brothers and sisters. The world could not even handle one. How will they handle 300 people walking in the image of Jesus? A great harvest will come. A great revival will be begin right now. You are called for such a time as this to become a warrior for the Lord. Not only a spiritual warrior. This church age is coming to an end. No, this you become a, will become a physical warrior for the Lord. A true ambassador here on earth representing the kingdom of heaven. Proclaiming that the kingdom of God has come. Proclaiming that Jesus is on earth 
for 40 days and later on that he was on earth for 40 days. Representing the principles of the kingdom of heaven of love, mercy and compassion in this world. Seeking the lost sheep, setting them free. Bringing people to repentance, taking them out of, of new Egypt. Taking them out of bondage and slavery. Returning them to, to into the hands of the shepherds who are waiting in New Zion to take care of them until the gathering until the Lord will send the angels at the sixth seal to take you to Mount Zion. Second Thessalonians, with a cross-reference to Mark 13. Brothers and sisters, this is the time when you are called. Have you heard the call? Have you heard the trumpets? Are you standing ready? You are a chosen people for such a time. You are a chosen vessel to stand holy in the darkness. You will become the beacon of light in the darkness that will cover the world. And you will be the rock in the storm. It is time, brothers and sisters. Stand with me. We are going on to the first battlefield. The first fight will be Jericho and we will take the wall down of the enemy so that we can enter into his places to set the people free. These walls of Jericho are a pattern to what the enemy is building right now with all what he is doing in the body of the people to build walls so that we cannot break it. But the Father will take down these walls most likely through the loop the walls will be taken down and then we will be able to enter and we will set the people free and they will understand because we will bring to them the truth of the heavens a new chance the first half of seals is the final chance for humanity to return back into the open arms of the father a final chance to reject the world Babylon and the churches, to reject religious spirits, to reject your grandeur of your pastors and priests in your churches, to reject self-righteousness, to repent of your sins and to come out. And even if we have to walk through a wilderness period before we'll reach the holy mountain, Mount Zion, so let it be. But at the end, we will attain eternal life with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we will not stand empty-handed at the base of Mount Zion, but we will bring offerings, the harvest that we have taken away, that we have gathered directly under the nose of Satan. The time is now. Are you ready to serve as never before? Are you ready to give your life for your Lord and Savior and for the Father? Are you ready to be a true son and daughter of the Most High? Because that is what Jesus was and what Jesus did. He gave his life in obedience to the Father. If you do the same, you will, can call yourself a son of God. And then you can walk in the image of Jesus Christ. And later on, as it is written in Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, you will become a king over nations, under the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, during the Millennium Kingdom, as a reward for your diligent work, for your watching of his return, and then embracing the role of a warrior in the remnant army of New Zion. 300 will stand against the 135,000, or even more. The time is here. The walls of Jericho will fall. Once we cross the Jordan, once we go into the promised land, New Zion, then the first attack will be bringing down the walls of New Egypt so that we can enter and set the captives free. You are called for now, for this time, to stand with the kingdom of heaven. Are you ready, soldiers? Are you ready to... to Take down the enemy. Are you ready to stand against Satan and his minions? Are you ready to rescue your families, your relatives, all who have fallen to the toxin? Are you ready to step forward and to rescue the children? Are you ready to step forward and to rescue the nations and to return a multitude closed and white to the entrance of paradise where the Lord will rapture them into eternal life? Are you ready? then stand with me. 
gather with me together and receive the, uh, the transformation of the Father into powerful warriors and the looping into new Zion. The time has come. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Bring more soldiers in. Let us fill 300 at least so that we can enter the fields of harvest and can bring forth the multitude. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Warriors, you are called.